welcome to another week here on The Den. <laughs> this week is Q&A week. And we have a special guest this time. Welcome, Matt. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, you wanted to be in a video, so why not do it on Q&A? That's right. And so, let's just get this started. When we missed last time, how do you guys manage to manage work and social life? I'm young and would like to start working a job soon, but don't want it to overtake my life. Um, you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. It fucking happens. <laughs> it's called adulting. It's called time management. Priorities. Yeah. You'll learn how to schedule things, so mm -hmm. enjoy things while you're still young because just enjoy them. Yeah. No, look, I'm in a, like a group chat with all my friends from back home. Because, yeah. you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and it's literally just like, I'm good on... Okay. Betty! Betty? <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, I'm good on these days, work around that. And then you're like, I'm good on these days, you work around this. And it's... It's complicated. It doesn't work that way. You're gonna have to deal with it. No. Uh, Jack Edwards, who are you supporting in RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9? Uh, I have strong feelings on this. Oh god. <laughs> first of all, Kamora Black, which disappointed in the first episode. She did. But I love her. Yeah. I'm the same way with Asha, though. We didn't get much from Aja, but I'm st I still love her. That girl needs to l you learn to use foundation. She's g she's got to learn to cover up those pimple scars. Oh, Sorry girl, you love me and my pimple scars. Sorry about oh. it. Yeah, uh, I'm not like these two. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to watch any of the pre stuff. I don't want to get any preconceived motions. <laughs> so mine is mine is all based on the first episode, and right now I don't really have too much of a favorite. Yeah. Um, the front runner, obviously, in the first episode was Nina Bonina, uh, but Around other that, than that, I don't. I wouldn't. Say, I wouldn't say I have a favorite yet. We'll see in in the coming episodes once they actually get into some of the talent crap. Right. <laughs> Jack also asked Derek and Greg if you had to lip sync against each other for your life, what song would be <laughs> and who would win? Go oh, ahead, Derek. Jesus. I'm gonna win clearly. Um, okay. yeah, hmm, the song, though. Will you win, though? What? Will you win? Oh, girl. I, God, no. <laughs> Do we need to find the clips of he Greg? Doesn't... Yeah, Greg did a turn back time lip sync that turned pretty slutty on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him do karaoke. I haven't seen you do karaoke, so I don't know. You've seen me do karaoke. Have I seen you do karaoke? Yeah, I was there. I was drunk at that He was pretty <laughs> Now, I did, at my birthday, I had a competition against another one of our friends. Um, he did Toxic, I did Turn Back Time, and... Both yeah. performances ended up a little... Slutty. Risky. I didn't end up in a job, though. Just just throwing that out there. Um, <laughs> you had a lip sync to end up in a job, though. You're just, like, dropping my hat. Ass out. <laughs> I'm just gonna read it the entire time. <laughs> Anyway, um, bottom line is I would win. No, we I would see. win. <laughs> and it would be Taylor Day's Tell It To My Heart. All right. Oh, my God. Of course it would be. Yeah. Of course it would, Derek. Of course yeah. it would. It would be. I, I thought you were going to say hold it out for a hero. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Bonus video this week? <laughs> we shall see. All yes. right. It's on. Yes. All right. Jake, what type of music do you want to hear at Pride? Fucking all of it. All of it. <laughs> all of it. I don't so, have a preference. Like I want to hear like old seventies disco and eighties synth pop. Band. I want the Chattanooga Choo Choo. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not Chattahoochee, it's not Pride. Oh God. <laughs> Way down now. No. no. Oh, I'm thinking of a different song, but okay. <laughs> He's taking the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Chattanooga Choo Choo. Is there any shows or movies you'd like to see make a comeback? No. No. Just leave them as they are. Stop <laughs> making remakes. Hollywood, come up with some original goddamn ideas and stop ruining our childhood. I saw a poster for Biker Mice from Mars remake. No. No. <laughs> no. Biker no. Mice from Mars. No. I've never heard this. Oh, never heard yeah, he's only young for Well, that. maybe this is for his generation to learn this. So okay. maybe we do need this, these comments. No, mm. no. Mr. Dickinson, what is the 10th picture on your phone? Oh, God. <clears throat> Mine's recording right now, so I'll just post a picture of it here. And, and I hope it's not one of the... Yeah. Mine was a Facebook pitch, I, a picture I put up last night, so mine is safe. <laughs> was it 10th from, like... 10th from your Facebook? camera roll. 10th from your from camera roll. very start? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh it's, fuck it's, off. No, it's, it's, it's not a dick pic. That's, no. Oh, that's a... It's a cute little selfie. Oh, I'll send it to you so you can... There you go. Yes. All, all, all selfies. What is your favorite gay movie? Oh, God. 
Mean Girls doesn't count, does it? Would we count Mean Girls? It's yeah, I would, say, I would absolutely say so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That or But I'm a Cheerleader. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. That's how I realized that's that a good I was a ch- homosexual. That yeah. is a good choice, Derek. Tu Wong Fu or Drop Dead Gorgeous. Never seen I, was, I was actually mm. also going to say Drop Dead Gorgeous. Mm. Never seen um, that. Maybe Heathers. Mm. Never seen it either. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last film that made you cry? Um, oh, this, this is bad. I teared up during the Power Rangers movie. Really? Oh, there's a scene in it. Pulled on my heartstrings. Have you seen it yet? Not yet. I, I assume Greg hasn't seen it either. No. no. Would well, you recommend it? Eh. Okay, so it's slow to start. <laughs> the last 45 minutes of it are popping, though. But if that last 45 minutes was, like, more into the start of the movie, I'd like it a lot more. <laughs> I'm going to go see it again, but, <laughs> you know. Mm, last one made me cry. Mm. Cloudburst. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Edgington. Damn you. <laughs> what is your favorite season of Drag Race? Ooh. I'm a whore for season three. Oh, I love season three, but I'm going to have to say season five. I was also going to say season five. All Stars 2. <laughs> <laughs> All Stars 2 was really really Season six was good, though. Even though it was yeah. obvious, but like season six I liked. Yeah, but season three. That, yeah, I'm, mm. It's mm. hard. There's a lot of good seasons. Mm. But What is the first concert that you attended? Billy Talent, St. John New Brunswick, 2000. Eight, nine, Eight. sometime around that. Somersault Festival, it was like Finger Eleven, A Perfect Circle, Smashing Pumpkins, Our Lady Peace, Foo Fighters, Ooh. and some band from the UK Jesus. that got booed off stage here, here in Halifax in 2000. <laughs> I, I, I saw Tim McGraw in 1995. Straight boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm down, closet. <laughs> Come on, closet. Come on, closet. <laughs> Marlo Mage, do you think that you would like to have children? I'm in this weird gray area, and a weird part of my life too, because I'm only 24, where I think I may want kids, but also the lifestyle I leave probably wouldn't be good for kids. Your, your mother, motherly clock isn't t- ticking in yet? No, my ovaries haven't started like compressing on each other yet, mm-hmm. so... I, <laughs> I'm a dude. But, <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I might want it. I don't want my own kids. I, I know that for for a fact because I have fucked up genetics, but adopting or fostering will be fine. But years and years down from now, maybe if it happens. Yeah, Greg. Um, I always said if I was going to have one, I would do it by the time I was thirty five. So seeing as I'm older than that now, I think I'm too old to have one now. So I think my biological clock is done. Chester. Would you rather have amazing sex for one minute or mediocre sex for ten minutes? Give me the one minute. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't need much. No. <laughs> exactly. Did I get in? Okay. Now I'm done. <laughs> Just the fist. <laughs> All right. If you had to help Americans escape the, escape the country and go elsewhere, would you? Even if it wasn't even if it wasn't legal. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're talking about like the Underground Railroad type thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, somehow getting him at a, at the fuck out of Trump territory. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, there's still immigration laws that have to happen in Canada. Yeah. Like, we can't just gloss over that fact. I'm not saying like <laughs> I'm not all just like kick out the refugees, but like I'm gonna stop talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Matthew Old, what are your thoughts on beard care and beard care products? Do you find well groomed beards beard do you find well groomed beards sexy? Thoughts on braided beards, glitter beards, etc. Okay. Go ahead. As someone who does not keep care of their beard, <laughs> I have wispy pubey hair all the fuck over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm admitting to it. I whatever. Um I appreciate a nice groomed beard. Um glitter beards are cute, but uh, don't touch me. <laughs> we are still finding glitter in here from the glitter beard. Oh my episode. god, we did that episode like a year and a half ago and we seriously still find glitter from nothing. <laughs> I keep finding glitter in some clothes that I wore at the Halloween party. That was probably for me. Or Alan. Oh, that's right! <laughs> yes, he did the glitter this year, that's right. No, Alan did the glitter and then I got covered in it. And, and, and here is your, 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 pl- your free plug down below for thebearded.com. Is your is an awesome spot for any beard care products that you would need. 
You're welcome, Ryan and Lester. Um, <laughs> as for Glitter Beard, I do like Glitter Beard, although the finding of the glitter a year and a half later is annoying. What about Dread Beard? <sighs> I've only seen one Dread Beard, not in person. It was on Survivor, and I didn't like it. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. No, I'm not I'm a just fan. Cut it off. Sorry about it. <laughs> it's like man buns. I just want to cut it off. Eh, some man buns are fine. Yeah. yeah. Some. Josh Lynch. We've been asked this question in almost every Q and A, but Josh, we'll still answer this for you. Well, why don't we let we'll let Matt answer this one? What are the top five countries to visit in your lifetime? Okay, um, that's a weird question. Uh, that's not weird, whatever. Um, I want to go back to the states. That was fine, fun. Mm -hmm. Somewhere else other than Orlando. Um, I want to go to England mm -hmm. because where my mom yep. is from. Yep. Um, Tokyo is like, mm, yeah. I'm such a weeb. Like, I'm such a fucking weeaboo that I'm just like, oh, Mina-san. I want to go so bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm just going to fucking I'm not say what I was about to say. Um, Australia would be cool. I want to go to Australia. Any other, like, typical place that everyone else says <laughs> that I'm thinking of? Mexico, why not? Yeah. yeah, let's go to Mexico. Let's go to Cancun! Yeah. Yes. yes! Not Brazil? Ah! <laughs> Come to you Brazil. missed it! You <laughs> missed it! You missed your opportunity! Ah, uh, <laughs> this was my moment and I <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> you caught us. Say Brazil. it anyway. <laughs> I love your mom. Come to Brazil. Fuck my pussy with a ring. <laughs> Did he fuck you, Barbara? <laughs> In that pussy with that ray. Nick knock, nick knock, nick knock, nick knock. Oh my god. I'll make it really come under. <laughs> I hate it. Oh. Next. All right. Denver Gilbert, what is your favorite episode of Friends? I never really got into it. Never seen it. Uh, am I the only one here that like, has watched Friends? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we haven't seen it. I like I like the, uh, the Las Vegas episode. Where um, <laughs> where Rachel and Ross get married, um, and probably and probably for me the finale is probably probably my other favorite episode. So I would say those two episodes. The only one I remember is when Phoebe found a thumb. That's the only <laughs> one I remember. The only one I remember was someone getting locked in like an ATM. Is that <laughs> Any a... episode where she sings the song "Smelly Cat." Oh, oh yeah, duh. <laughs> like, yeah, Dan McDonald. Funny things you've ever woken up to your partner doing. Fuck off, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering this question. <laughs> he's pleading the fifth. I don't really have any funny stories, but I know Derek has funny stories Greg, about me. You have, is it okay for me to discuss? Uh, yes. Yeah, so let I, me let me preface it. I want to hear the story. The thing that people don't know that probably I don't think I've mentioned in any videos is well, you don't bring this up at parties. I have. <laughs> I have. Night hallucinations. So, they're fucked. Within an hour of the time I go to bed, from time to time, I kind of wake up in a partially awake, partially sleep state, <laughs> and I do strange shit. Like, no, oh, Derek, there's chainsaws on you, running on you, <laughs> and then kind of trying to push me out of bed. We used to have a ceiling fan <laughs> over our bed that would quite frequently turn into saw blades and start lowering. No, the um, spiders. <laughs> yeah, the bed sometimes will sink through the floor. Yeah, it, 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 they're really awesome. They're really awesome. So, kids, just start having night hallucinations. <laughs> so, the funny, so, you didn't answer. So, what, what is the funniest thing I've ever done to you? Yes. Oh, you need to push me out of bed that. saying I had razors for chopping on me. <laughs> <laughs> I have pushed yeah. him out of bed before trying to save his life. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I have an answer then. Okay, so like, <laughs> I've had uh, a partner uh, talking to sleep uh, who ended up making fun of deaf people for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> You know them. Um, and I have, an, I had another partner that kind of just like, I'll sit at the end, he'll he used to sit at the edge of the bed and kind of just like wobble back and forth. And so then, kind of like Tina, this is where I sleep. This is also where I trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he would like kind of just like tilt back and forth. And sometimes it's just like, baby, do you need to go to the washroom? Like, do you need to go sleep? Like, what's going on? And I'm like, mm, and then go back to sleep or you can watch him. What did I do at Tidal Wave last year? Everyone. I don't remember. <laughs> well, besides that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Eric, if you remember, 
What the hell did I apparently get up and start screaming? Name drop. <laughs> I, I do. I, he, was, I, he was our roommate. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, Jordan okay. was there too. Jordan wanted to brought it up to me, but I don't remember this. I don't remember something about falling down the stairs. See, I don't remember that. Yes, apparently I must have something. been. I must have been passed out at this point because I don't remember this. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was a little exhausted. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Clark asks, what's your go-to karaoke song? <laughs> Go ahead, Derek. Clark's an asshole. Go ahead. The go-to karaoke song? I believe in a thing called Love by the Darkness. I was going to say your... No, Roses by Ocast. Or 99 Problems. Yeah. Roses by Ocast. What would you, what would you say mine is? Don't, write the, don't let your sun go down on me. Yeah. Like, don't let the sun go down on me. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Ironic. Ooh, yeah. There's a video on my Instagram of uh, him and Alan singing Ironic, and he did not like it. <laughs> I tagged Lance Martin's head, and he was not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have a go to karaoke song because I don't normally do karaoke. I'll go and I'll drink, but I don't do it. But probably something like Kesha. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get him singing next time. Because I'm out. basic. So. He's going to get up and sing a group song with us next time. <laughs> Lionel Frank, have you ever met someone through online chat on Facebook and been disappointed? Like in real life? In real life. Real life meet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. All right. Clinton, when people, when people taking PrEP to protect against HIV transmission, mm. do you feel people will be less safe and that there will be explosion of other STIs? All right. Let's just open this can of worms. Yes. Let's <laughs> yeah. do this. It's not a cleanse all. It's not like a yeah. control delete. Oh, you're gone. You're fine. Like, no, you still have other things to worry about. So be safe still. Like, yeah. I think we're in a day and age where people know the impact of what they do. So I don't think anybody should be shamed on one side of the, the coin or the other. They're adults. They can make up their own mind if they, want, if they want to use condoms, if they want to use prep, if they want to use a lady condom, whatever they want to use. And yes, this is a thing. No, no, uh, dental dams. Well, no, no, no. If you, I saw one of the sisters... Promoting on Facebook the other day the use of female condoms in the anus. Oh yeah, it goes in you. Yes. And then they suck it. Yes. So and, and that gets the 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 person that's topping doesn't feel like they're they're using any protection. Yeah. But anyway, bottom line is this day and age, everyone knows the impact, what they're up against. If they want to not use protection, whatever. Uh, just you have to be cautious, you have to be conscious of that. And if the person that you're messing around with doesn't want to sync up, then you got to be prepared to walk away. Yep. And don't slut shame. Yes. No. Yep. And do not slut shame. I hate seeing that on Facebook on both sides of the coin. People shaming people that want to use protection and people shaming people that don't want to use protection. We're all grown adults. We know the impacts of our decisions. Yeah. And lastly, a question from Drew. If you were an astronaut, which planet would you want to travel to and why? Drew, you know I've been wanting to explore Uranus for a while. <laughs> and you can send pictures of your exploration oh of Uranus. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, send news. Oh news. my god. <laughs> if, okay, so what is it that makes Halifax special to us that keeps us here and would attract someone looking for a new place to move? I can answer this, as I just moved here, like, three months ago. Uh, so, I, was, I just, I didn't really have, like, a great support system in St. John. I don't, I'm not, like, dying or anything, but, like, <laughs> I see support system as, like, a weird thing. Don't die on me. I'll try not to. Okay. I'll make a solid attempt not to die on me. <laughs> I can't make any guarantees. No, it's just, like, I was kind of, like, isolated back home in St. John, and then I met a boy named Alan, who was great. And <laughs> that got, that's a weird phrasing. Yeah, uh, and then I came down and I kind of just like, are you done? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kind of just like, I met these two and then I met everyone. And then it, it kind of just like, I felt accepted and someone, something I just didn't have in St. John. So the people here are good, are great. Most of them. <laughs> the same person <laughs> there's one we don't talk about um I mean, you shall that, not be named yeah and it, it it i know it was similar enough to saint john where it's just like it doesn't feel foreign so i don't know the people are great more opportunities 
Opportunity. Better deck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now for me, it was like it was the music scene that brought me here. And there's festivals, just other fun things. Like this week, we have Burger Week, where all 150 restaurants in the city have different burgers that you can go explore. I went to Ace Burger with James today, and yeah. it was packed. Like it took us like a good half an hour to get our food. I'm just like, go away. Yeah. We went to Meza and we had a shawarma burger. Mm-hmm. It was so good. We went to Pickle Frog last night and had the the double drill but double drool burger, which was hot peppers, guacamole, Dijonese. So good. I don't know. For me, when I moved to Halifax, I was in a bad spot in my current life that I was in, and I needed somewhere to start fresh. And I got my. I was lucky enough to find a roommate that lived in the city. Um, that allowed me to move in with them, and that was my introduction to everything, and it worked out perfect for me. So that's that's my story. All right, any other one? Get that's it. We went through all twenty-one questions. That's twenty-two questions. I oh. forgot about the other one. Yeah. Quentin. Wow. Yeah. Can't that's count. impressive. <laughs> all right. Well, now that this has been a half an hour video. Um, I, as always, like, share, subscribe, tune into everybody else's videos to see how they answer the same damn questions. Um, yeah, everyone, have a great week.